This video is sponsored by Microsoft. Vertical alignment. We're all familiar with horizontal alignment, making it centered. This is center aligned. But if you want to vertically align type within a frame, you probably run into this. You choose center, and then it just doesn't look quite centered. What's going on there? So in the case of this example, you can see that there's more space above than there is below. And that problem is likely to be worse when you have text in upper and lower case. I'm measuring there from the top of the frame to the top of the ascender on the L, and from the bottom of the descender on the G to the bottom of the frame. So there's quite a disparity in the spacing. If the text has no descenders, then the space below is going to appear more, but still is not even. So we now come to one of the most obscure options in your text frame options, the first baseline offset. Command B to go to my text frame options. I'm talking about this, first baseline offset. What happens to the first baseline of type in a text frame? By default, it's set to ascent, but we have these other options. Now, what we mean by ascent is that it's going, going to align to the ascender height. If I put in an F right there, you see that that comes almost to the top of the text frame, but not quite. Even with an ascender in there, there's still going to be a little bit of space between the top of the text frame and the top of the type. If we choose cap height, which is what we have here, then the text is going to butt up against the top of the text frame. Leading allows you to specify what your leading value is. X height, you'll see the type is now aligned to the X height. And fixed allows you to specify a fixed amount. What this translates to is that if you are working with type in all caps, and you choose cap height, then the spacing above and below is going to be exactly the same. But if you try cap height and you've got upper and lower case text with ascenders and descenders, then it's going to be different. And different again when there are no descenders. Moral of the story is Don't worry too much about what you've set it at. Just come and align it optically. And you can do that in a couple of different ways. You can come to your text frame options, make sure that this is broken so that you're setting the top offset independently, and you can just nudge that up and down. Or, and I know this sounds like a terrible hack, and it is, but it gets us where we want to go, you can apply a baseline shift to the type. Select the type. Baseline shift is going, to, is going to shift the type up or down from its baseline. Keyboard shortcut for it is shift option, up arrow, or down arrow. When it looks right, it's right. You're doing it by eye. 